All right, good evening, friends. Uh, so today we'll be dealing with the reaction time, a very important concept in the sports. So you already you already know that what is reaction time? Reaction time is the time which you take to respond to a stimulus, and is very crucial in the sports. If you have good reaction time, good reaction time means you take less time to respond. Less means good. And uh, the learning outcome of the this lecture will be how, uh, what is the importance of reaction time in the sports and how to calculate that. And as activity, I'll give you this procedure, at, and you will you can calculate yours uh, at the end, and you can tell me what is yours, right? So, what is the reaction time? It is the ability to respond quickly to a stimulus. So, what stimulus in the game? For example, in the sprinting, uh, the the athletes respond to gunshot. As they hear gunshot, they start movement. So, that reaction to that gunshot is known as reaction time. Faster that movement, better the reaction time, better the speed development. So, it is very important. It is very important in many sports and day-to-day -day activities. Now, day-to-day -day activities like driving. When you are driving. Then you respond quickly to the things which come in front of you. For example, when you when somebody is in your front, you def, uh, instantly apply the brakes. So what is that? That is the reaction time. Instant instant application of brakes. You take very microsecond and apply the brake. So that is your reaction time in the day-to-day -day activities. And when you are drunk, like some you have consumed some alcohol or something, or you are having some drug. So that basically increases your reaction time and in that way it is very dangerous because you will take time to react and that will very risky. So what is reaction time basically at the ground level it is your nervous system you are training your nervous system to be fast to coordinate well with your muscular activities neuromuscular coordination better the coordination is faster you re uh, you respond to the stimulus so skilled light players have very fast reaction times as can we do under in one for just for example uh, if, if a skilled ally take 10 seconds 10 microseconds then the untrained one take 20 or 30 so that is the difference so as you practice as you train your brain as you do the workouts you train neuromuscular coordination so your this reaction time improves so it is very important in the sports uh, and uh, the one who have good uh, fast reaction time respond to the moves of player very quickly on the ground and that can win win a game if two players are there and one having good reaction time fast reaction time definitely he, he has edge over the other because he can respond to the things very quickly so if an athlete is able to react quicker than their opponents on a critical point in game, then their odds of defeating the opponent are greatly increased. If you have good fast reaction time, then the chances of winning the game are more. So in the crucial situation, if you are having good reaction time, you will respond very instantly to the situation and definitely that will give you the edge over other and you can win the game. You can win the gold. So reaction time is very important. So on the one message here is that improve your reaction time and it improves by improving your neuromuscular coordination with training it will improve so this is the method in front of you how to calculate very simple method what you require you just require a ruler a foot uh, scale basically and a calculator so how we are going to measure is we will be absorbing your hand eye coordination basically the thing is very simple uh, we'll see how quickly you catch the ruler when we fall it and we record the reading i'll give in i will give you the detail right now so this is the just overview so with hand eye coordination we'll able to see how well your coordination is with your uh, of your nervous system with your muscular system because uh, hand movement involves muscular you know and your eyes you're watching that and that stimulus goes to your brain and then you react to that so all this will give us your reaction time so what you need one foot uh, foot rule uh, or scale simple and a calculator so what is the procedure now the one who wants to suppose you are the subject 
I want to calculate your reaction time. So you will sit uh, on a chair and with your elbow relaxing on the table and just make a move uh, hand like this. Uh, you have to just hold it the hold the foot you have to f hold the that scale when I and the second one the, you have you need basically one more person with you who will drop the ruler in front of you and you have to see when he drops and you have to catch it with your index finger and your thumb okay so I'll give you the, this is the overview I'll give now give you the detail to be tested either should be standing or sitting I'll I'll I prefer you should sit on a chair and be relaxed okay now keep your uh, elbow resting on the table so that your thumb and your index finger are free and ready to catch the scale but uh, you have to catch it vertically so in the later slide I'll give you the demo also so you'll understand just now listen it so that you can plan in your brain in advance you have to catch it between the thumb and the index finger of yours so when you are starting the test just keep be ready with that movement that you have to catch the scale with your thumb and your finger now the second person will drop the scale in between your thumb and the fingers and he will keep that closed at the zero point near the thumb so the scale will be lying in between your thumb and the index finger at zero point zero centimeter okay so instead uh, within a fraction a fraction of sign he will drop instantly and you have to catch it instantly so that is the stimulus no? he will drop it and you will catch it and the point where you catch that ruler suppose you catch it at 5 centimeter or you catch it at 10 centimeter or you catch it at 15 centimeter record that value so this is the way to calculate the values in this way you have to calculate 10 times you have to calculate 10 values and then you have to take the average got the point the person who is with you he or she will drop the ruler and you will catch it and ready position is that you are you have relaxed your elbow on the table and you are ready with your thumb and the index finger and he'll uh, and then the second person will keep the foot rule at zero point between your thumb and the finger index finger and instantly he will drop it and you instantly you will react to that situation and you will hold it with your thumb and index finger and the point where you touch or hold that ruler will be recorded it could be 5 centimeter it could be 10 centimeter depending on your reaction times and this you have to repeat 10 times and then you have to take the average of that value now this is the formula calculate the average distance and now you have got the average distance and this is your d which you will get after 10 values and g is your acceleration due to gravity that is fixed 9.8 meters second square and you have to take square root of this and this will give you your reaction time so this is very simple thing so this is the position see in this photograph you will see that these are the index finger and on the uh, other side there is a thumb and you are just you have to relax your you just relax on the table she is holding like in the air you should rela relax that is a good way and this is the position at zero she is not touching the foot this is a uh, foot rule this is very important she is not touching it somebody else who is there who is holding it so you have to the second person should hold it at zero point my thumb should touch my love should not touch it should be at the level of zero now when he or she will drop this ruler now this is the value you can calculate that she has In the centimeter you will get that she has caught uh, catch she has got this uh, ruler at this value the value which you take keep on recording that value at the same point and take 10 readings 
so these 10 readings you will take average and this will give you d okay so this is the demo So this is at the zero point and then she will actually catch it. So see like that. Now second person is holding and she in this way she is calculated and she he is recording the value. So she is 10 years old girl and she has got this at 11.83 centimeters in the second attempt. So firstly it, it was 3.8. Thank you very much. Then at 11.83 centimeter and in this way you have to calculate 10 values. So after that you record it and apply the formula and try it and uh, tell me I'll, I'll keep one activity after this lecture and you tell me your reaction times.